Well, this single for me is very, very different in terms of uh, it's it's much more melodic. Where the where the first one was uh, very very based on rhythm and and on the the harshness of the sounds. This one is much more pleasant. Uh, it's much more melodic, as I said. Uh, it's much more uh, I would say accessible even to um, wider audiences. Most mature song we've written. Uh, it's very emotional and uh, I think that it's a big leap forward for us. Uh, I think it's a, it's a very melodic song, has a great message behind it and even though it's very contemporary and poppy, it still have that edgy element and uh, I just think it's the best song we've written. In terms of structure, melodies, rhythms, like um, the, the way we write it tends to be um, to, to flirt a little bit with with pop music, and this track is definitely like uh, in in this track this this influence is definitely uh, stronger than Finnish, which is compar comparatively is more heavy and a bit more uh, based on uh, rhythm uh, rather than uh, melody, and this one is a bit more emotional as well. I will say it took longer to make. For a start, but I think that's uh, shown in the the final product. I mean, Sean was uh, was really was really fun to record with Sean because um, he really likes to go in the detail with the things like and um, and he really, really wants to to come up with the best performance you can do. So yeah, it was, it was definitely good. It was new experience in terms of how detailed. Uh, the tracking process was, um, but it, it was it was insightful. Uh, we managed to refine it more before we actually started recording, which I think worked really well. And then obviously when we got to the studio, we knew exactly what was happening and we could just focus on what you needed to do. Uh, I really enjoyed that we, we took a lot of time to really turn every every word inside out and see what we could do with it. I really enjoy and the layering, there's so many interesting layers in this track, from the strings coming in and the, in the, the bridge part, the really nice sounding synths in the track, and I, I think that really adds to, to the song. You can li listen to it a lot of times and you find new things every time. The lyrics deal with the inevitability of failure. And in a strange, optimistic, nihilistic way, kind of binds the, uh, the good thing in that. You know, we all know that we're going to fail and it's about how do we turn that into an advantage? How do we become comfortable in failure? Um, and how, how, how negative as that may sound, I think it's a very uplifting message in the end of the day. Toy Story. This music video is very different. We knew from the get-go that we wanted to take a very, very different approach from the, the Finnish video. Uh, if Finnish was more of a thriller, this is much more of a drama. The inspiration came somewhere within the band. I think it was either Oscar or Josh or them together coming up with the initial idea of how they wanted to look like and uh, what the feeling of that would be. And then we started coming up together uh, with narrative, with uh, the um, metaphors and all this kind of stuff. I think I felt like uh, mainly Oscar and me uh, was kind of invested in this process because, I don't know, it, possibly because we are uh, fans of, of stories. We are fans of, I'm, fan, I'm a big fan of fantasy. He's a big fan of movies. So there was, there was this kind of strange synergy that, that came through. It felt like it was going to be a lot, and it was. This time we had like a proper actress, we had a, uh, um, another film guy, like ch we had children actors, which was something that we never thought it, it would work, but we managed to make it work. And then uh, the, the cool thing though is that instead of being split into several places, this time it was every, everything was recorded in one room, 
which was uh, more controlled than, uh, like under one aspect, but like at the same time it was a lot of work to rearrange the room in the, to make it look like different locations. The logistic of it was a bit of a chaos, but like um, we, we managed to make it work. We wanted to connect this video much more to the emotions. We wanted to follow a lead character all the way through and make it very, very emotional. Uh, I really enjoyed working with James, uh, the, the, the uh, filmographer, and Anushka, our uh, lead actress, and I think it's just a great match. And uh, I'm very happy with how the music video turned out uh, in the end. It's really cool. Well, yeah, once you see the video, you'll uh, understand a bit more, of course, about the whole bathtub thing. Um, but we really wanted to make that uh, like a feature of the artwork and then the kind of crazy colours in the artwork are also present in the video. So I think it all kind of interlinks. Oh, yeah, there's, there's Easter eggs. Uh, there's Easter eggs from new stuff. There's callbacks to the last stuff, even though the, the, the videos look very different. They are much more in common than you may think. Um, but I'm not going to say more. Three words. Layered. Sophisticated, melodical, emotional, energetic, and download it. Three words. Falling with style. Really damn good. I hate questions when I have to think like this. <laughs> <laughs>